So a few days ago I did a video on the possibility of Tyson Fury facing Charles Martin. And although I don't think Charles Martin is necessarily the greatest opponent in the world for Tyson Fury to be having, I didn't hate the idea of the fight because I think Martin's shown a lot more heart as of late. You know, there's a, a common opponent there with Anthony Joshua. So I kind of looked at it with kind of, okay, you know, it's not the worst fight in the world. But it doesn't look like that fight's going to happen. It looks instead... That we are going to get to see Tyson Fury versus a guy called Otto Wallian. Or Wallen, however you want to pronounce it. A Swedish heavyweight. I'm reading an article here on Boxing Scene. And it says, Boxing, <coughs> excuse me, BoxingScene.com has confirmed that lineal heavyweight champion. They always throw that in there. Lineal heavyweight champion. Will face Sweden's Otto Wallian. The athlete first reported Friday that the fury Wallen fight has now been finalised. Or has been finalised. Boxing Scene has learned that the Fury Wallen fight will headline a card on September the 14th at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <clears throat> Top Rank had considered taking Fury's next fight to the TD Gardens in Boston. <coughs> Excuse me. But he'll fight a second fight in Las Vegas. England's Tyson Fury 28-0-1, 20 KOs. Knocked out Tom Schwartz in June at the MGM Grand. It says here Top Rank offered the Fury fight to numerous heavyweights, but ultimately chose Wallian over veteran Frenchman Johan Duopa and New Zealand's Junior Fai. Junior Fai would have been a decent fight, actually, um, for the main event of ESP, ESPN Plus stream. Sweden's Wallen is 20-0, 13 knockouts, 1-0 no contest, a 6 foot 5 southpaw. Exactly the same as Francesco Pianetta. He's ranked number 6 by the WBA and 10 by the IBF. <clears throat> Wallen was supposed to fight BJ Flores on July 12th in Washington, but the 10-round heavyweight fight was cancelled on the day of the fight because the Washington State Athletic Commission wouldn't approve Flores a license due to undisclosed medical reasons. Okay. That's the article in a nutshell, and of course, I've gone and done a little bit of research on Otto, is a Wallian? I, I'm probably butchering that name now, but I've done a little bit of research on him, and I'm on his box rec here. As I said, he is a 6 foot 5 southpaw, 20 and 0, 13 knockouts, one no contest. No, no contest was in the last fight. It was deemed a no contest due to an accidental headbutt that was caused in the first round. Prior to that, he fought Adrian Granat. Had heard of Adrian Granat, that was a 12-round unanimous decision win. Granat, you may, some of you may not know, he was an undefeated Swedish heavyweight as well. He was knocked out in a round by Demetrenko. Okay, Alexander, and that wasn't too long ago. He's gone 10 rounds with Zimbano Love, recognise him. Um, there's not really anybody else on his resume that I re name I recognise. Like, there's some journeyman out there, like Zambano Love, whose name I would recognise. But apart from that, there's no one else. He's promoted by Dimitri Salata, I think is how you pronounce it. He actually co-promotes Jarrell Miller. Just a little bit of intro there. Um, so yeah, that's the opponent that we're looking likely to get. Um, not exactly who I would have been choosing, to be honest with you. You know, Tom Schwartz was undefeated, but we all kind of saw what Tom Schwartz was like. He wasn't great. To be honest with you, I haven't seen much of Otto Wellian, however you want to pronounce it, but it's not exactly filling me with confidence. You know, Sweden is not known as a boxing country. So, you know, I'm not exactly hopeful that this is going to be, you know, a show stealer. I'm not hopeful that it's going to be a dangerous fight either. Um, so I don't really know. It does kind of seem like what Fury was doing the first time around, you know, where he fought, you know, Sefa Safiri, who was a, a nobody. Who had like only one loss, but he was essentially a nobody. Essentially, that was Tom Schwartz, and then he moved on to fight a six foot five southpaw in Pianetta, and he's doing the same thing here to fight a six foot five southpaw in Otto Wallian. So you know, I would like to see Tyson Fury's level step up a bit because I wouldn't have minded the Charles Martin fight. And when I saw Junior Faz name mentioned, that was an interesting fight. I would have liked to have seen that. Even Kubar Pulev, even though I know it would be a boring fight, it'd still be an intriguing fight. Um, I'm not really sold on this. I will have a look at Otto Wallian, or Wallian, however you want to pronounce it, but I can't imagine that I'm going to be too impressed. I can't imagine. Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will talk to you after.